This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Our friend Dave Kendall has been putting together a series of vignettes on the Santa Fe Trail. This one stars our dear friend Leo Oliver. And while my talk at uh, the Calm Mission at Council Grove was canceled due to um, the circumstances around the state right now, we hope that'll be rescheduled and looking forward to visiting Council Grove. But in the meantime, let's get a great history lesson from our friend Leo Oliver with a special thanks to Dave Kendall. In Council Grove, Kansas, one of the most historic communities on the Santa Fe Trail, Calm Mission Councils take place on a monthly basis. For the time being, these councils are held at the Carnegie while the Calm Mission is being remodeled. This year, presentations are focusing on the military and the Santa Fe Trail. In early March, Leo Oliva came to speak about international cooperation between American and Mexican military escorts on the trail. Considered one of the foremost authorities on the Santa Fe Trail, Leo breaks the history of the trail down into distinct eras following William Becknell's first trading expedition in 1821. I like to say that there are, there are five eras to the history of the trail that kind of need to be looked at separately to understand how they developed. And the first period is the uh, 1821 to 1846, the first uh, 25 years or so. It's an international trail between the United States and Mexico. And uh, the international boundary at that time was the Arkansas River. Uh, and when you crossed that river, you were in uh, Mexico or New Mexico. Then the, we have the second period is the Mexican War period. It's the period of conquest. And the United States troops marched over the trail and uh, in other ways went into Mexico. Of course, the, some went by ship to Veracruz and, and marched to Mexico City. But much of the territory that was taken from Mexico at the end of the war in 1848 had been occupied by troops that traveled the Santa Fe Trail, went to New Mexico, then they went on to California and occupied California. Uh, Three-fifths of, of Mexico was transferred to the United States at the end of that war. In the interwar period, from the Mexican War to the Civil War, is sort of just an expansion of, of commerce and military activity. Uh, for example, we have uh, a uh, mail contract let in 1850 to carry the U.S. mail between the uh, uh, Westport, uh, Kansas City area and Santa Fe. So we have mail service to New Mexico uh, established during that time period. Uh, we have uh, other military posts. Then the, then the next era is the Civil War period. There are battles at both ends of the Civil War. The Battle of Glorieta Pass outside Santa Fe in uh, March of 1862 is usually called the Gettysburg of the West because it was the turning point of the war. And the post-war period is the railroad period, so that, that would be the final period of, of, the, uh, of the trail is the replacement with the railroad. But the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe followed the old Santa Fe Trail. 1872, it was at Dodge City and the town of Dodge City was founded. And then uh, they built into uh, uh, Colorado, they built over Raton Pass and they, they were in uh, Las Vegas, New Mexico, 1879, and Santa Fe in 1880, and that, that's the end of the trail. The railroad had replaced it. And if you look at the trail in those sections, it all makes more sense because each, each is really a, a kind of a different focus, uh, and uh, it, it helps tie it all together. Have a great week, everybody. I'm Deb Goodrich, and I'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Kansans have a new choice for Medicare supplement insurance plans. With Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans from Kansas Farm Bureau, you have access to four levels of coverage, affordable rates, and service from an organization that's served Kansans for more than 100 years. For more information on Kansas Farm Bureau Medicare Supplement Plans, including rates and to apply, visit kfbhealthplans.com. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet. Valley Vet. Valley Vet 
up.